The fourth yama, brahmacharya. Brahmacharya a lot of times is mistakenly thought of as celibacy, which is a form of brahmacharya. That's, that's not it. It's a very narrow scope, a narrow view. So brahmacharya is all about moderation. It's all about practicing in moderation. It's all that sense of like, too much of a good thing is a bad thing, okay? We're gonna get into brahmacharya. Brahmacharya is sometimes known as pure conduct. It's about being on the path of Brahman, okay? When we think of brahmacharya, we're thinking about all things in moderation. So when we think about brahmacharya's behaviors leading to Brahma, which in some cultures, Brahma is the creator. So we're talking about practicing behaviors that are gonna lead us to a higher power in many ways. Or, or even that would not interfere with us being closer to a higher power. So we're talking about spending energy in the right way, moderating everything. Everything is pretty much okay in moderation. And so it's about how we spend our energy because we're conserving our energy for a greater purpose. So we don't want to expend all of our energy in a way that's not going to be productive, that's not going to lead us closer to a higher power that's that's not going to be beneficial for us. So like for example, exercise movement is a good thing. But what if you become almost addicted to exercise? It's all you care about. And you're always looking for ways to find movement and exercising to the point that you're neglecting your other responsibilities. And so you're not exercising in moderation. You've actually developed this really unhealthy fixation an obsession with having to exercise constantly just to feel adequate, to feel okay. And there's no moderation there. So now the rest of your life is falling apart. You got fired from your job because you weren't showing up because you were exercising or you're not showing up for your family, the people that depend on you because you're exercising. So it becomes an improper use of your energy because you're pouring too much energy into exercising in this example. So this example I, I use often, it's kind of silly, but I think it gets the point across because it's really just that too much of a good thing is a bad thing. And any bit of a bad thing is a bad thing. And we just want to use our energy wisely. And that is what brahmacharya is about, is about how are we shelling out our energy? So you needed to conserve some of that energy for a greater purpose. Maybe you have, you know, animals that are depending on you, family that's depending on you, but you're expending all your energy onto this one thing that you fixated on and you're putting that above all else. So that's brahmacharya, the fourth yama.